it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion on the table. Just when you thought you had seen it all in the octagon, we are graced with the presence of one Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali, taking his act to mixed martial arts. Team. I mean, he's so pretty, John. Now he always uh, says, I'm so pretty. He looked pretty inside the boxing ring. He intends to do the same thing inside the octagon tonight. This guy is such a great athlete. He talks what he's going to do, but he also delivers. Olympic gold medalist, boxing heavyweight, light heavyweight world champion. He has done it all. A true icon in combat sports makes his UFC debut tonight. And to the surprise of some, he told us in the fighter meeting he's got an appetite for the wrestling stuff. So we'll see if Ali can mix it up a little bit tonight. Happy to have him here in the UFC. Muhammad Ali has graced the octagon. We are set to go for our main event of the evening, our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Elia El Matador And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, here we go. UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Let's see which man exits as the consensus baddest man on the place. Good punch, Lance. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, no building up process tonight. These fighters are crawling early. Those guys came to fight from the moment the referee said go. Beautiful jab there by the champ. All right, so early on in the fight, and the BJJ fighter immediately attains the clinch. He told us in this matchup, space was not going to be his friend, and he closed it nicely there. And he's not level changing to shots, John. He's not shooting to your legs. He needs to be chest to chest so he can use his trips and his length to try to get this fight to the ground. Mission accomplished. Nice hook there by Ali. Back and forth we go. Oh, he's hurt. In a ton of trouble right now. Hook to the head there by Topuria. 
with that attempt. Man. I mean, geez, Louise. Oh, nice punch from the clinch by Ilya Topuri. Oh. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one, so he continues to slow his opponent down. And nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he He won't be able to take any more. Think about Edson Barbosa. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Clipped him with a right hand there. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that? Oh, oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, beautiful level change. Oh, seamless transition. Attempting a choke now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Wow, that is great submission defense. Get that wrist control for me. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Good work from the top here by Ilya Topuri. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Muhammad Ali getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Now the hammer fist here by Tepudia. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Oh, you gotta start to look to finish him now. Final seconds of round one. Five minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Nice jab to the head by Ali. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Big counter right here. Big shot. Keep the pressure on. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Come on, bro. Tofutia going for the takedown. Nothing doing there. All right, so he 
continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display Portia's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's got to keep his weight down. He's got to be working, but not working recklessly because he's going for a submission. Oh, it could be the beginning of the end. That was tight. Oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. All right, so that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Let him go. That one landed clean. Big right hand. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this day. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the court. Oh, yeah, it's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer theoretically to the end of the film. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Well, once again, mixed martial arts, the land of the unpredictable. You've got a jiu-jitsu fighter here throwing hands with one of the better guys in this game. I would have never thought that this is the fight that will play out in front of us. The jiu-jitsu guy leading the dance, but not only leading the dance and the striking, but winning the exchanges. He has truly shown that he has committed himself to becoming a full mixed martial arts. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent, and he keeps going to that spot. Oh, it looks like that Darce is tight. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attack. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. That whole kick, yep. Nice defense there, huge block. Muhammad Ali's eye starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Nice, nicely done. 15 seconds to go. Oh! straight right hand. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonmail will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad.
is because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far Ready. too many. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Kick lands, my favorite strike. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively, or this fight's going to end. He's gotta move. Oh! oh, he's in a world of trouble now. Topuria going for the takedown here, nothing doing there. There's a kick. It's hard to think about fighting his career in which he has absorbed this amount of damage. His face is essentially shot. Unrecognizable. He's unrecognizable. That is his. That is as close to the term that I can say. This guy does not look like the guy that walked into the octagon early. He made a lot of mistakes early, and they're ultimately costing him right now as we've gotten longer in the fight. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Takedown defense is there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slip. Oh, right there, the second blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upset. Ali's cheek is just fauceting blood all over his face, all over the canvas. Like, where's the ringside physician? Maybe time to call on the doctor. I don't know. Oh, beautiful hook. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Takedown landed now by Ilya Tokuri. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Good body shot. Oh, well, he said he was going to attack the whole leg, and he has not discriminated. Nicely done to the thigh yet again there. Another beautiful thigh kick lands for this guy. He's doing a good job of working the game plan. He told us that he saw a weakness. He wouldn't tell us what it was, but it seems as though... Oh, man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. If you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh. What a fight, what a display of physical and mental toughness on both sides. I'm not sure who's more injured, but they're both hurt for sure. Yeah, John, they're both injured, but I think that is the key. The mental is what's going to allow you to get your hand raised in this fight. This will not be easy. You're going to have to go to some dark places whenever you're in front of a guy that is as good as you in every aspect of the fight. Referee help here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bounds, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of the position. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. So Portia's nose is just pouring. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. 
Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle. Oh, the pressure going down on his opponent. Oh, oh looks tight to me. He's out. What's the miss defense on this way? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Ali. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in order to make the cut worse. You ready? You ready? Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Ali's an absolute mess right now. This fight might actually get stopped by the ringside physician. Yeah, he hurt real bad. He still hurt. Great job fighting behind the lip. Topuri is really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy. In this one could be over soon. He's going Kimura now. Oh, he's got the Kimura position locked in now. Nice transition between Kimura and Armour. Oh, look pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. Takes his back. from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Oh, boy, look at that gash. He passes the half. Now he's going full mount. This is where he wants to go. Big, big shots landed by him now. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Oh, excellent pressure here from top position by Ilya Topuri. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, another strike hits right on that cut. Ringside position might have to intervene soon. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, you know, I don't like the key very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Everybody here inside this arena digesting what they just saw. That is not a TKO, folks. That is a clean knockout result tonight. I mean, just wow. What a performance by this young man knocking his opponent out with a single shot like that. We get the official decision with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 46 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and a new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Elia Nevadikov.
right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type.